Hello, I'm Ken Shelton. I'm going to explain to you how to use your electric pottery kiln. Kilns would normally be inspected about once a year by an electrician, uh, pat testing, that, that sort of thing. But here are some things that you can do and you should be doing yourself to maintain your kiln. To protect kiln shelves during firing, we use a substance called bat wash. And uh, bat wash is a very refractory powder, not readily affected by heat, uh, that is painted onto the surface of the kiln shelf. It's mixed with a little water first to bring it to a consistency of milk. Now what it does is to form a barrier between any glaze particles on the base of the pottery that you're firing and the kiln shelf. Of course any glaze present there will become molten during the firing and on cooling will stick to the kiln shelf. We have an example of a shelf here which although protected by backwash to a certain extent it hasn't been enough to protect it from severe damage by uh, a loss of glaze that's been underneath the pot that was being fired and this has cemented itself <clears throat> so severely to the shelf that it's broken away quite badly when it's been removed. The elements in this kiln are supported on tubes, not within grooves, but you can see the end part is still within a groove and that's going to gather dust. Brick dust accumulates during a firing um, and builds up in the, in the grooves and that will hold heat in around the element so can cause the element to fail more sooner than it otherwise would. What you need to do with that is to gently hoover it out. One of those little car hoovers is quite good just to pull out the, the dust from the element grooves, lift out the base bat, base shelf, and hoover up all the dust within that. Uh, avoid any accumulations of dust. One thing you must remember in keeping the kiln chamber clean is to remove any spots of glaze which may have fallen on the kiln shelf or on the kiln bricks. If they're not removed, then each time you fire the kiln, they'll melt again and they'll leak further and further into the brick or the shelf. What you need to do is to chisel them out using perhaps a, a little screwdriver or something like this. Even if it makes a little bit of damage in the brick, it's better to remove them than to leave them there. Because if you do leave them there, not only are they eating into the brick and the shelf, but if you place something on top of them, they'll stick to that as well um, and ruin the piece during the firing. Because kiln bricks are very soft and quite fragile, it's not infrequent to see cracks appearing in them during the, the course of normal usage such as this. However, cracks at these corners of the kiln are very often caused by the kiln door being opened too soon. Anything over 100 degrees could potentially cause a crack because the bricks have expanded within the door and they're gripping the door frame. So as you pull it out, there's the tension can crack the, the brick at that point. I hope you have found this video informative. For more information, please see our website.